So we've had some really good suggestions for what to do with this patch. Um, one suggestion stood out over and above all the rest. Look at these eyes, guys. From Q&A Seaweed, um, the makers of peptide eye gel. Um, guys, have you got anything stronger? <laughs> um, I've been um, using a little bit of the eye gel just on these under, I think that's a bit too much maybe, but we're going hardcore this morning. I've always had, um, you know, sad, intense eyes. It's kind of been my weapon through the years. But uh, now I've got seaweed eyes. So, Q&A, peptide eye seaweed gel, people. Um, I, I take your aloe vera... Um, based seaweed extract eye gel uh, regularly and my eyes as you can see <laughs> are fabulous <laughs> so um, if you have any larger containers for this I'll take them um, if you need me to be the ambassador for this I'm your guy um, I can feel my collagen levels boosting as we speak it's a little bit stingy actually We'll do a before and after, so if this is a before, check it out later, guys. Literally, I'll have seaweed coming out of my eyes. Guys, I've woken up with a bit of a cold. I'm not feeling my best. Not very well. No, but I've got a beauty box. So, shall we unpack it together? Shall we? Hmm. It's from Vegan Kind. My kind of gorgeous, it says. We have got... Bertie likes these because he steals all the stuff. Yeah. Oh, a jade roller. That's my third. <laughs> Cleanse your face and then apply serums or oil to the skin and gently apply pressure and perform oh, okay. upward and outward strokes over the skin. So it's to soak in the oils and stuff. We really like Sukin, don't we? Yes. This is a hydrating mist toner, chamomile and rose. That sounds nice, doesn't it? Yeah, is it? Oh, toner is a, sp is a spray then. Spray, yeah. yeah. So after you wash, after you yeah. cleanse, a little bit of toner, then oh moisturise. I don't really have a skincare routine. No. Um, pour correct. Pour correct. P O I E. Oh. <laughs> Hydromat pour correct velvet cream blush pink. What's that then? I guess you put it on your face. Brightening complex. It's replenishing and hydrating matte effect, purifying and perfecting, helps unclog and reduce pore size. It's got a little thing on it. I'll take that off for you. Fig and Rouge, is that what the name yeah, is? Yeah, Fig and Rouge. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, it feels very nice. It's not really a colour. Smells good. And then... It's very QVC, that one. I've had one a bit like this before. Exfoliating shower bar. Apricot seeds and shea, shea butter. Oh, good. Okay. That yeah, looks yeah. good. Yeah. Yeah, we had one really similar to this, I think, in another one, didn't we? The green one we had. Oh, yeah. This one nice? Yeah. It's quite sort of plain. Nice. Avocado sheet mask. Oh, you've got quite a few sheet hydrolauric masks. Acid. Yeah, I need to sheet mask things. Yeah. Maybe when we're on leave we can sheet mask. Hmm. That looks nice. He's got a little panda there. Is it a panda? Yeah. Mm. So that's the box. So I like that sometimes things are really expensive in it. So this one, how much do you want to guess how much it is worth? £12.99. £35. Right. <laughs> 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 so I can't remember I never remember how much this I pay for this but it's less than £35 anyway for the yeah. whole box so. yeah 
So you go. That's oh. uh, that's the beauty box. Are you happy with that box then? Yeah, I suppose I quite like these. Do you? Yeah, yeah. I enjoy yeah. a beauty box. Yeah, Bertie likes to use the little things. Bertie has. When I uh, met Bert, he had more products than me, don't you, Bertie? Yeah, uh, they were mostly. You still have more products. Yeah, well, it's because of my my skin. It's uh, got eczema. Oh, and you've got dry and I've got skin. dry skin. Is it yeah. darker skin drier? Isn't yeah. It? So. So. Lots Bertie of different likes to moisturise. For that. And also, I had hair then, so I, uh, and, and sort of my hair was quite hair products, frizzy, yeah. and I kept trying to new, try new products to make my hair look good. But luckily, it all went. It's yeah. Like, just solved that problem for me. <laughs> I mean, you were sad, and it won't. Yeah. But now you just look, you know, super oh, yeah. handsome, don't you? It's two point oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bertie yeah. two point oh. Yeah. Baby Stanley Tucci. Okay. So, I have been working on my TBR for the, um, now that's what I call summer, readathon, hosted by Karen and Heather. Um, so I thought I would go through that with you guys, if that's okay. I, I'm kind of a seasonal reader, so I kind of like reading about the season I'm in. But I do quite like the idea of bringing some sunshine into January. So, um... So I have really enjoyed putting this little, little list together. Oh, hi Shani, you okay? Anything to say? Okay, are you going to be participating in that? That's what I call some uh, reader from. If you help me pick books, because okay. I find it like quite hard work. Yeah. Yeah. You can build a fort with me. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'll do that. Okay. Um. So. The first prompt uh, is Saturday morning cartoons, which is, I think, to watch a cartoon in your pyjamas. Um, possibly there's something about eating some cereal as well. Um, this is a nice excuse for me to get some more maple sunrise. Um, I, I I really like the idea of watching some cartoons in my pyjamas, so, and I found online... Um, uh, a movie called The Princess and the Goblin from I think the early 90s which looks really good it sort of it looks a little bit like the last unicorn type illustrations which I really like so and the other one I found it was called Robotics um, from 1985 which I really like the look of because it, it looks like something I would have really liked when I was a kid so um, I might watch Robotics and, uh, and or The Princess and the Goblin um, whilst eating maple sunrise in my pyjamas with Sean. Um, the next prompt is the school book fair, um, which is a book you wanted to read as a kid. This one is just uh, fallen at the right time for me because as a kid, and for many years after, I, I wanted to read a James Bond novel. Um, I always wanted to read a James Bond novel, um, various things have put me off through the years, but then Heather um, just read some John le Carre, um, the, uh, was it the, the spy that came in from the cold, and loved it. So she's in a bit of an espionage mood, so she mentioned reading some James Bond. So we're going to read, we've decided, Moonraker. Moonraker together. Moonraker is one of my favourite James Bond movies, because it's... Roger Moore era, which is kind of really the only ones I like. Um, and yeah, we've avoided some of them, certain ones, because they seem to be like, I'm, I'm guessing there's some racism and dated language in them. So there might be in this, but we're sort of, we're hoping that there's more space and stuff in this one. So yeah, really excited to read Moonraker, my first James Bond novel. Part of me, um, just the, the the contrary part of me is quite interested to read those post Ian Fleming, not the new ones because they look shit. The the sort of eighties post Ian Fleming James Bond novels. Is it John Gardner or something like that wrote them? Because they've got them in the in the Troutmark in the second hand bookshop in town. Um, and I'm just kind of drawn by the covers to be honest. So maybe if I if I get into these, I can move on to those. Uh, next up is MTV Video Mashup. I used to love MTV. I grew up on MTV um, when it was just music, showed music videos all day. And it was like formative stuff, you know, like grunge, shoegaze, 
they had uh, 120 minutes on I think once a week and that's they showed all like the uh, sort of underground indie stuff uh, so anyway the, the 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 prompt for this is to create an 80s and 90s playlist which I have a couple already so I'm just going to stick those on and have a dance party with Sean. So I've got those two on Spotify. I've also got about a million um, homemade burned CD compilations. So I might even dig one of those out. Yeah. I'm all set for this one. It's not a problem. No problem, guys. Karen? No problem. Heather? No problem. Oh. So, the next prompt um, is too cool for school. Um, I love the uh, photo that Heather's put up for this one. Um, I'll put it here. <laughs> the The prompt for this is to read a, a, a book with some cool teenagers in. So I'm going to read Bruised. Uh, this is uh, by Tanya Boteju. Um, and this, I think, is about roller derby. Yeah. Yeah, about roller derby and some cool teens. Um, Endless Summer um, which is a book that takes place in summer I've got two um, two choices for this one so um, I've ordered from the library Victory Point by Owen D. Pomery which is a graphic novel but it's kind of like um, set over one day about a, a, a girl who goes home to uh, visit her dad in like the town where she grew up and it's just about her reminiscing and sort of feeling a little bit like she doesn't fit in anymore and it's just her like observations um, I think and um, yeah just you know her going around this old town where she grew up um, so that looks really good um, and the other one I've chosen uh, for that prompt is uh, The Drowning Pool uh, this is a uh, Ross MacDonald Lou Archer novel, I love them, they're so good. Um, uh, it says the finest series of detective novels ever written by an American. Um, these are all great. Uh, I haven't really checked, but I'm guessing this is set in the summer because there's a swimming pool and it's, you know, they're sort of California, the drowning pool. And then it's undercover reading, which is a read a mystery featuring a puzzle or a, a, like a hidden object. So I was struggling with this one because, and but what I did think was that as a kid I loved puzzle books, um, like riddle books. I wasn't very good at them because my brain doesn't work like that. But um, I loved them, and I loved there was a computer game. This is like the early days of computers. There was like no graphics. It was all just like typed stuff. I think it was called like L. Or the L, the L room, or I can't remember what it's called. I'm gonna, I'll have a look at. But it's like it, you typed stuff in, and then it would say whether you could go into the room. And I loved that. Um, I wasn't very good at it, but I loved it. And um, obviously, I used to read the Choose Your Own Adventure books obsessively. But when I was slightly younger than than that. I was really, really into the Usborne um, puzzle mystery books, uh, where it was uh, kind of cartoons, like sort of graphic novel type things, where there'd be like an adventure and then you'd have to solve something to move on to the next bit. So it, it really got me thinking about those. Um, and I had, was having a look online to see if there's any sort of secondhand ones still mulling around. Um, so they were called the, the Usborne Puzzle Adventures. Pretty sure I, I had uh, Time Train to Ancient Rome. I'm pretty sure that was a good one. And Danger at Demon's Cove sounds really, really familiar as well. But I've had a look on the library, and the library have The Haunted Tower, which I'm, I don't recall. So I'm going to go with The Haunted Tower. Uh, next challenge is Snail Mail to uh, send a postcard to a pen pal. So I'll, I'll, I'll send out some postcards next month, I guess. Um, Oh, I forgot to say, The Haunted Tower, that's built by Susanna Lee. Pass Me the Funnies, which is uh, the prompt to read a comic or graphic novel. Um, so again, from the library, I've had a sort of a bit of a route through their graphic novels. I've put loads on order, so if if this one doesn't 
fit the bill, if I'm not enjoying it, I'll have loads of backups. Um, but the one I'm thinking of for this is called Moms by Young Shin Ma, um, which uh, I went online had a read about it, and it sounds really good, and it's had like really good reviews. I think it's quite recent. Uh, lonely middle-aged women in uh, South Korea, a group of them, um, they, how they become friends and how they sort of search for a bit of, you know, freedom and happiness in their lives. Uh, it looks really good and it's quite sort of chunky, I think. And the last prompt is uh, Clubhouse. This is to build a uh, fort and read in it. Um, anyway, Sean's going to join me in the fort. Um, we'll, we'll do some reading. Maybe I'll read some graphic novel in there. Uh, so, those are my choices for the, now that's what I call summer, January readathon. So I, I'm looking forward to January. Um, thank you so much Karen and Heather for putting this list together, I love it. Um, uh, we got my lentil beans with hot sauce, bagels. And, seeds. Some, and Sprout. some seeds, sprouted seeds. Oh. It's uh, quite an unusual lunch for. I don't for you, but you, beans. No, but I'm, you, I'm today, on the bus, so. today you asked for some beans. Hmm. Yeah. Because you accidentally opened two tins. Yeah, you didn't sleep too well last night, did you? No. Yeah. I was hot. <laughs> <laughs> then I was snoring. Oh my gosh. And then I woke up like. I'm having a drive in the struggle bus at the moment. Yeah. Yeah. Sages on it with me. Like um. Freddy Krueger driving that bus. <laughs> <laughs> I've got the Freddy Krueger jumper. Sage yeah. is on the bus with me. Yeah, oh, of course, Sage. Anyone, anyone I else know. that wants to be on there? I felt that video deep in my soul. Oh, no. Yeah. I'm alright though. I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> this is us now. <laughs> uh, I'm in bed. I've just I've come from a meeting and. I think I've finished for the day, pretty much. Yeah. Yeah. You're not yogurt tonight either, are you? No. Oh. Um, I felt better. <laughs> but I'm it's, okay. I'm all right, though. Snuffly. Like, Don't, you worry. Babies, but snuffly. Don't you worry about it. It's fine. It's fine. No one needs to worry. I endure. She does. That's her penguin nature. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I think, like, you know, is it vlogmas if I don't get ill part of the way through? Hmm. Or you don't think, God, I'm sick of vlogmas. That's like some kind of like weird like army training. Sort <laughs> of, uh, it just like, uh. wears you down. <laughs> <laughs> um, so it's, we're all feeling it now. <laughs> some of us have uh, jumped ship. Some of us are still here. Yeah. Um, I mean, in pain. Yeah. <laughs> suffering, but it's still going. Yeah. Are you suffering, or was it me suffering? I so I think um, we were just discussing. There's um, so there's like more restrictions going up and stuff like that. And um, for well, we haven't. I guess Omicron. It's, it's, you know, no, not official, from, but no, yeah, I guess because in, we already had the stuff that has happened in England. We kind of already had, didn't we? Like continuing to wear masks, but yeah, I yeah. just feel like some of the parents have pulled their kids out. Of school yeah, early they have. And, yeah, and like we're saying, gigs are getting cancelled and stuff. Yeah. I've got my open mic poetry night coming up on Thursday, and we're just discussing whether or not that should go ahead. Um, mainly, I haven't written anything for it, so... <laughs> <laughs> is that, is that the right. actual? Yeah. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah, all this is on my <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> um, oh, you've got stuff you can so, read, though, haven't yeah, you? Yeah, I've got stuff, yeah. 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 Or send me something to read if you uh, if you want me to read something. Yeah, that'd be good. Send me a poem down. Uh, write me a little poem mm. in the comments. Um, yeah, we're gonna sign out and have a quiet night in. Are we gonna watch the third part of the Beatles? I think we. It might give us some energy that we need. Yeah. But if you don't, if you're not up to it, it's fine. How long is the third part? It's like two hours and a quarter. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to just like watch some horror or something. We can oh, do that. horror. Yeah. Um, so, uh, we're going to postpone the movies thing until maybe tomorrow. The tarot on the weekend tour, when I've got time. maybe this weekend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah sorry. Yeah, I feel like um, it's difficult to fit it 
to do anything in the day because I'm at work. Really busy work week, work week. So yeah. I'm really sorry that it's been so much Burt content. People are liking Burt content. No, no People one are loving wants it. I don't content. want it. I want shine content. And I just have to put my stupid little face and my stupid little face <laughs> out there. And you're just like politely watching along and pretending. Yeah, yeah, we like your CDs. Pretending I'm just like some bumbling idiot and making a vlog. So thank you. Um, okay. Well. You know, we're over halfway now. Yeah. I can feel Christmas in the air. Also, did I say... I think I said that I ordered a witch's box and a candle box. I don't know if you did tell them. Did I? No. Oh, on Sunday I was yeah. feeling like a little bit sorry for myself. Yeah, she was home alone. Yeah, yeah. Was dangerous. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, so I ordered like this witch's box. Well, I don't really know what it is. Um, but it's just like a one-off Yule box. Anyway, it's been sent out. It's been dispatched. So I'm excited. What else, and what else did you order? I ordered like two scented candles. that came. There was like a gift set that was obviously meant to be for someone for Christmas. Mm. Two scented candles. But it came with like this really nice mug, which you obviously need. Yeah. Yeah. So that, hopefully that, that'll be here soon. Yeah, same thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Wow. Oh, and then Bertie bought me a book yesterday as well. Oh, yeah. Because he felt sorry for me. I bought Sean that Sky Papers um, book because she yeah. wasn't feeling very well. And when she's poorly, we have to buy her books. It's true. Yeah. So we saw Sage reading Sky Papers and it sounded like perfect. It's like recent, isn't it? But mm. it's set in the 90s and it's about an artist and it's blurred by Michelle T and they're just like... Everything. Every, and it's everything queer. Everything wants. Really. There's everything I want in a book. Yeah. So Sage said that they thought I'd love it, so Bertie's bought it for me. It's on its way. Yeah. I can I can read it and look in my witch's box, which is probably <laughs> trash, and then light some candles and drink coffee in my mug. Yeah, maybe have some soup. Yeah, the only thing, if you do cough, if you do kind of cancel that the, the poetry, then will mm. we get our coffee? Oh, the coffee subscription. Yeah, yeah. I feel we should, they should honour it. Yeah. <laughs> My payment of coffee, <laughs> which is why Sean's so fond of my poetry. Yeah, who cares about the uh, yeah. what's happening? We need that yeah. coffee. They've got Christmas coffee. Yeah, maybe we could just write a poem about wanting the coffee. Yeah, and when you're doing this yeah. for the coffee for my wife. <laughs> and you're in it for the coffee. Yeah. 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 Okay. Good night, guys. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Bye.